Hello my soccer universe, I got a confession to make, I really like that shirt, yes that's true. It is probably not among Lusk fans a very favorite shirt because you know it's black and there's a little pink in there but the moment I saw this shirt I really thought this looks darn cool and it was immediately on the hit list. The shirt is of course the European third jersey from the 2021 season, the season where I showed you last week this shirt and I decided to do it this uh, week also a collection video on the last shirt because not only did they have the great win in the Europa League where you know Europe it was also a Europa League shirt but it's also the Linz Derby uh, this video posts after the Derby by the time I really hope they have already won another one but long story short with this shirt I mean I liked it the moment I saw it and I also knew that uh, towards the end of the season when the new season starts those shirts at least for a while last put on sale for rather reasonable prices or you know I mean knocking 10 or 20 euros off so I was around to wait for it a little bit and wait I did and lo and behold my aunt wanted to buy for my nephew uh, Lusk shirt and I said you know can I take along I she wanted me to that, that, I had, that, that I help her can I take that to take along get one as well I was actually about to get this one and this one but then yeah this would have been a little bit unreasonable so I take it along I got this one directly from the Lusk store and since we ordered enough stuff we got it with free shipping so more that you know and I was really pleased and this is a shirt that I really like, I like to wear, although it is not your classic Lusk shirt. I mean, this is way more of a classic look, but it has, uh, I think the color scheme is just very striking and I really, really enjoyed that one. For me, of the three shirts that I've worn and I only have this one, I think my daughter has the European away jersey, which was the pink one. I actually should get the home jersey because they won a whole lot of games in that one. But this one to me was the standard. It was only one in a single match, but we'll talk about this after we take a look at the shirt. So here we go. This is the second ever um, of, of the second ever edition where Lask made dedicated uh, European shirts. Uh, the first one I think was overall better looking with the pinstriping design. Uh, this one followed the line, you know, with the seams like the uh, Kappa 2002 or uh, Kappa 2000 where you had the um, uh, uh, seams here a little bit on the, on the outside to create kind of a modern look. Uh, the collar is very much, you know, a little bit fold over. Ve it's very much like this one, uh, the Kappa 2002 style. Uh, While well, it's not Kappa 2002, this has very little stretch, whereas the previous ones were super, super stretchy. Uh, you got also knew that we had the BWT logos here on the sleeves uh, and this time around they were actually black and white which i really really like the only branding that that came in and you see it here bwt and i probably should make a video why uh last fans are not so happy with them you may know this company from formula one i think they're sponsoring an entire team they are a local water filter business from the air not directly linz but from upper austria so in that that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have to sponsor and their branding is of course gray the uh, really pink and then uh, more like a uh, lighter pink color, which they actually reverse here to make here the stronger pink color, uh, the center of the design. But that's exactly it, the off-center design. I love uh, the off-center stripe through the crest. This is probably my favorite design, especially for an alternate jersey. Um, Overall, the aesthetic, especially for the wages, I haven't shown you yet, but you can see it in the, um, uh, for, or the third shirt, I should better say, you can see it in an unpacking video, was that this was all black and white, and that's why the upper Austria crest is actually also only in black and white, which I have to say, yes, there's a whole lot of black and white, but there's also a little bit pink going, going in here. I think going full color would have made for a better look overall. Um, now have to answer the elephant in the room i have done it before why two sponsors when in europe there's only one sponsor allowed yes again lusk decided in 2019 we are self-producing the jersey jerseys we can we had our own brand for the ice car but for money's sake we make 
one of our sponsors, our main supplier, and they have been the supplier. The supplier, they're not really creating the shirt, but they are the nominal sub so, so supplier for the team ever since. But yeah, the design, it is simple, but it's effective. I really like the triple stripe and I have, have to say this dark pink uh, on a black background looks really good. I even don't mind because the last crest back then still had the red L and the, the red and white from the upper Austrian flag. Maybe it would have looked better if this was red and some white. I would think this would look better. Um, but I have to say overall this with the pink looks really, really good. It is a blank. Uh, it only says Lasky on the back, but I actually I prefer it this way. Uh, I probably should have gotten a number on the back of it. I also saved a little bit I should have gotten the Europa League sleeve patch here as well because that would have made the short stand out a little bit more the sleeve patch I still could get unfortunately I will not be able to get a number on the back anymore that's a little bit sad this shirt definitely falls under the CAD category that I like it purely based on the design because it was not a successful shirt it was only worn once in a Europa League campaign where last got 10 points and still got eliminated thanks to the head-to-head -head against Antwerp. This was worn only in the first match uh, against Spurs away, uh, where they lost 3-0, having for a few minutes a good drink, but Spurs were just better on the night, and they were the better team. Fortunately, they lost at Antwerp the next game, which put Lusk on the back foot in the, in the group, and despite beating up Antwerp away from home, you lose at home, you lose the head-to-head, -head, and then even 3-3 at home against Spurs was just not enough but um uh, it is i think it stands by itself despite not not being successful it's also a shirt that actually got the whole pink mania rolling in the sense that lusk actually wanted to wear the pink shirt at spurs but uefa said uh -uh, pink against white will not work because it was kind of a lightish pink uh you gotta go black that's where you that shirt and that meant because they had a contract that they had to wear twice the, uh, the pink shirt in the Europa League in order to get the money. That's why they wore twice pink at home. And that really, really started the whole trouble. But I don't want to remember the shirt for that. I know this is but I don't even remember this shirt uh, for the loss at Spurs. During Corona times, for me, this is one of the best looking alternate Lusk shirts. The black with the simple design. Again, I think if you would put the flag of Upper Austria, which would be a red and white strap, that would probably make it an even cooler shirt. But this one looks pretty darn nice. I hope you agree with that. Give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.